Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Bloodborne. We are in the research hall, and now that we've explored a whole bunch of the stuff going on in these various locations, we can go ahead and try to find where to get our stuff back from. Unlike these guys, I am rather impatient. Aha! Woo! We have fun here. Not the happiest of campers. Oh, ho, 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 my God. Scare me, why don't ya? So that's where you came from that other time. What a freak. Isn't that right? Can you get your big dumb head? I want them blood vials. That just was a terrible throw, I guess. That one does not look comfortable. Man, that would have been an embarrassing way to die, huh? It's like most of these punks out, right? Annoying things, aren't they? And loud, too. Right, now it's time for the scary guy. But as you can see, it did not take long to get here. And come to think of it, if I had gone for the dark room, I probably wouldn't have had to deal with this at all. Well, I would have this one guy. Gotcha. Thank you. Now where were we? Right here. A little peace and quiet. Ooh. Oh, that's what? Sounds like Mr. Gatling Gun took out a couple of the brain patients. And still more bullets. Oh, this is how I get to this place. Dirty damp blood gem. Yeah, this is how I got here. Okay. I wonder if that gem's any good, if it's just lying around to be picked up. Poison. Alright, well, I guess what did I expect, right? Now I'm gonna go back to where I died. Oh, hi. Whoops, I'll be over here.
beautiful. But now I gotta watch out for this guy. Nope. That's close. Let's <laughs> move. Yeah, I definitely want to reach that guy. Well, we made it up. Laboratory floor five. Sir, ah, damn it, it's fine. I don't have time to die. Got him. Freaking rigged experimental crap. Oh, we got more patience. That's bizarre. That's really messed up. Just headless. Yeah, let's put a stop to that. And that's a trap this time for sure. Four blue elixirs. What the? Are those the heads? It can still scream? That's awful. Oh, I gotta put it into this place real fast. That is terrible. You have got to go. Another blue elixir. An enlarged head, I just have one. That's probably a key item, but I'll check the regulars to be safe. Yeah, okay. Is it not here? Did I, did I miss it or am I not seeing it right? What even is it? Oh, ew. It's equipment. An enlarged head of a patient of the cathedral, with a cavity that just happens to fit a human head, although one would be mad to try it on. But if you do, listen carefully for the sticky sound. Drip, drop, as water seeping up from the depths, slowly, steadily. That's disgusting. Nope. Oh, gross. Yeah, that is a no from me, buddy. Now, let's go back.
Laboratory floor five. I don't see anyone. Oh. Ooh, what the? Oh, this must be where it fell. Six bullets. Let's do it. Threaded cane. Sir. Annoying. Took a little more effort than I would have liked, but we got him. Sedatives. I don't need that poison, thank you. That, that weirds me out every time. But yeah, he just, like, he wasn't supposed to fall here, so that actually scared me, like, ah! Saying flip plop, huh? You? Uh. Lady Maria, I'm a Robin. Will I ever grow up and become a man? What say you? Lady Maria. Lady Maria, say something. Anything. What? Lady Maria. What's safe? Also, why the hell would I do that? Brain fluid. One down, two to go. Oh, you're not even dead? Lady Maria, no. That's okay. Now, about that brain fluid, not sure if it's a key item or what. Guess it is. Grayish, amoeba-shaped brain fluid, wobbles and bounces. Extracted from a patient whose head expanded until that was all that they were. Ugh. Once a young girl had an older brother who was determined to become a doctor, and so she willfully became his patient. In the end, this led to their encounter with the Eldritch Truth, for which they considered themselves blessed. Gross. You know, I really don't like that this wheelchair is here. Problem solved. <laughs> so stupid. Anyway, this was a secret area, so let's go and, uh... Boom. Boom. Let's go over to post -up. What the... Who was that? 
Anyway. What am I hearing? Ah, nuts. Oh, you're fast. There we go. Crap. Oh, that was... I'm gonna go on his level just to take him out. Oh, no kidding? Sweet. Wasn't expecting to find that here, but I'm glad I did. I fell for the same trick twice. Well, he lived. Unfortunate. But then again, I shouldn't really be going back to that area anyway. And look, it's where I died. That didn't work. Sir? Wow. Everything's fine, though. He just calmly walks back upstairs. Too late. And we're back. Like nothing happens. Very irritating. And that's it. Just climb. Rats, really? However, this whole area looks precarious. I can see glowies and everything, but dare I get them? What the hell is that? Are you. Come on now, that's ridiculous. You know what? Good job, idiot. I wasn't even trying for that. Great one's wisdom. You know what? Let's do this. Someone died. Did one of the rats fall off? I thought there were two rats. Watch out for the rats. I already got the item over there, so I don't need to bother with it again. However, I do want to follow the rats, actually. Yeah, there's a brain patient. Gross. Listens. Antidote? Oh, a chunk, nice. That's what I'm interested in. Oh. 
This is on Orlando. Marvelous. Okay, someone died. Splish, splash. Splish, splash. What happened here? Have you heard how curiously the sea churns? Like a storm, but like the rain, only gentle, like dripping water. It bellows from deep inside of me. Here it comes, up through my inside, but gently, like little droplets. Whoa. Have you heard like it? Hey, guess what? Brain fluid, baby. That's so weird. It clearly said search corpse. Have you heard like it? And it's just back. I didn't mean to do that, but that kind of made sense. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you're back. Shut you right up, didn't it? Too late. Not too late, but poor aim. Now what's in this? Fine strike? That sounds new. Attack versus open foes up and physical attack up. Alright. Nothing? Okay. Let's see if I can find my way down. Oh wow, this is where something must have fallen off the rat. Whoa! It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I didn't expect that, it's fine. I'm alright. I'm not falling off the stairs now. And I'm not gonna die now either, for that matter. Okay. Oh good, now that I've raised the stairs, here we are. Oh, hello. Not a pretty sight, is it? The true face of the blood-worshipping, beast-purging, healing church. But that's not all. You seek the secrets held by the nightmare, do you not? Then here's what you must do. Find the astral clock tower and kill Maria. Really? She hides the real secret. But she seemed to be a stand-up person based on what everyone else was saying. Go on. Kill Maria atop the astral clock tower. She hides the real secret. Go on. She... That must be some serious business. Uh, hello. Whoa. Nope. You do not get to live. Oh, wow, they're in a full straitjacket. What the? That really hurt. That really hurt. What a hideous attack. 
I mean, for real. I am not putting up with this. And what is that? Lethal damp blood gem? What does lethal mean? I mean, duh, but what does it mean in terms of blood gems? Rally potential up. You know, I hadn't intended to go here so early, but now that I am here... Please, could you do something for me? I need brain fluid. Murky, mushy brain... F oh, thank you. You're terribly kind. Ew. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, I hear the sticky sound. Do you hear it too? <laughs> oh, I know. Will you have my blood as thanks? I'll have you know, I was once a blood saint too. Sure. That makes me happy. But I cannot move. Look, on my right arm. I'm sorry to trouble you. But you don't mind, do you? <laughs> wow. Blood of Adelan. Restores HP, they rejuvenate some. Adeline was originally one of the blood saints who received treatment by the church to cultivate worthy blood. Adeline's was one of the few cases that turned out favorably. Oh, you know, I'm curious, actually. Yeah, this is different. Extracted from a patient whose head expanded until that was all that they were, in the early days of the healing church, the Great Ones were linked to the ocean, and so the cerebral patients would imbibe water and listen for the howl of the sea. Brain fluid writhed inside the head, the initial makings of internal eyes. Wow. Oh. There you are. Don't be greedy. As they say, fear the thirst for blood. I should know. I was once a blood saint too. <laughs> oh, don't I? <laughs> huh, I wonder if I need to refresh the area. I mean, I have her blood, but I wanted to give her another brain fluid. Perhaps I can. God, that's so weird. But now I kind of know where I am. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I think I'm actually caught up to where I want to be now. Good, we're back here. Now let's hope I don't get jumped. I wonder where my echoes are. Can you reach me from there with your super jump? I'm actually curious. That answers that question. So this is how we got here. I was wondering about this one. A lock shield? That sounds important. Like lake? We're really pushing that ocean imagery? Durability 120, 160. 
An artisanal shield crafted with blue glass. Originally say originally used to safeguard the leader presiding over a sacred healing church ceremony and later supplied to tomb prospectors, in particular those exploring the labyrinth of Is. The blue is fashioned after a lake, and the shield greatly reduces all forms of non-physical damage. Okay, that's pretty cool. Get everything I can, right? Okay, we're good. Oh, really? It's a miracle I avoided any of that. Alright, pal. Shut up. Tell me whoever that is is not nearby. I don't want another guy with the stick. First of all, four bullets, which I don't really care about. Wow, that looks bad. Wow. That thing looks like it's dripping with poison. Look at that. Yikes. Sir. You're done. More bullets, though. I'll take that. Underground cell key. That sounds important. Oh, this was the ledge where I didn't know how to get there. I was looking at the wrong place the whole time. Underground cell key. Key to the cell below the Grand Cathedral. Hunters are held within the underground cell so that things better left unseen and knowledge better left unknown will decay quietly in the fallow darkness. So now I can go back to the uh, the underground corpse pile past Ludwig and open that stuff. Now I actually think I need to reset the area again. I don't think I'll get in my... Uh, 200,000 souls back, but it's actually not as bad as it sounds. I can easily, easily grind that in the Chalice Dungeonese. Um, should I just use the damn blood then? Oh, how did you find my blood? A touch more? Should it please you? Oh, how to touch... <laughs> yeah, but how do I brain fluid? Oh, hello again. I'm very sorry. As I was a blood saint, I cannot break the tenets of the church, even for you. Once you've run dry of blood, come visit me again. Oh, okay. There's a way to do this. I need to use three of her blood samples. Oh, hello. As I was a blood once you run dry. I did, I did. Oh, as I was. All right, I'll reset the area again. It's fine. And now? Oh, hello again. Did my blood ease your hardship? Then do have more. The sticky sound guides me and I have you to thank for it. Lady Maria never approved. But I am proud to have been a blood saint. Oh, as I was a blood once. Oh, as I once. Alright, reset the area one more time to extend this little quest. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Please, somebody, I need to help. I'm trying, but I'm afraid the sound is fading. I can help. Hello? Is that who I think it is? Please. Oh, please, I need brain fluid. 
The sticky sound is fading fast. Please bring me brain fluid. I must have it. That sound, it is all that guides me. Without it, I'll be sent back to my former lesser years. So weird, but let's do it. Yes, that's it. Let me have it. Saved me. Take this charm. Lady Maria gave it to me, but it is all I can offer, other than my own blood. The balcony key. Now that's important. Please, do not abandon me. I promise to do good. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, hello. Do you hear that? The sticky sound, as clear as day. Slip, slop, drip, drop, slip, slop. How extraordinary. Do you think that water drips even down deep below at the bottom of the sea? Can you hear it? Oh my, and I guess I'll just accept blood. Drip, drop, slip, slop. <laughs> wow. Drip. Well. Drip. Nothing. And yes, I will repeat this process. It turns out that it's possible to give her three brain fluids. I'll check the key shortly. <laughs> wow, so that's all she says, and either you can take her blood or you can't. Bye. Unbelievable. <laughs> Alright, one more refresh. And before I do that, let's take a look at the key. Key to the balcony on the first floor of the research hall. Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower gave this to the patient, Adeline. Maria had hoped Adeline would find comfort in the faint breeze that carried the scent of flowers from the outside. But Adeline couldn't fathom her intentions. Flowers? And there was that whole garden outside with those celestial emissaries and everything? That's interesting. Um. Oh. Hi. Don't interfere. Hello. Oh, hello. One last time. Will you fetch brain fluid just one last time? The murky, mushy fluid that will make me whole. The sticky sound whispers to me. So very close, right into my ear. My head, just a head. That's all there is. I need my baptism. Please, I beg of you. I want to be something. <laughs> I can still accept blood? I guess I'll take it, but... 
I'll take your brain fluid. And now... Extracted from a patient whose head expanded until that was all that they were, we fail to realize our own latent potential until the moment it is lost and we sense its absence. Ironically, this is the very nature of insight, like the moment one licks one's own blood only to be startled by its sweetness. Please give me brain fluid. The sticky sound whispers I need my baptism. Ah, or perhaps I'm already brimming over. You shall have it. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be an item or not. Maybe it's just candles, but that was weird. Well, goodbye, Adeline. I don't think I'm going to be able to... No, maybe I can. Yeah, the oaths. Milkweed. Host phantasms as a lumen wood? What? Small increase in item discovery. A carol rune envisioned. By Adeline, patient of the research hall. A transcription of the inhuman sticky whispers that reveal the nature of a celestial attendant. Those who take this oath become a lumen wood that peers towards the sky, feeding phantasms in its luscious bed. Phantasms guide us and lead to further discoveries. Wow, so she discovered the rune, I suppose. What a curious situation. I'm gonna hide by the lamp for a little bit though. For now, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We nearly completed searching the research hall, and we completed Adeline's quest, which I suppose ended happily for her. Well, it seems that our goal is to kill this kind-hearted Maria we've been hearing about, but if she's guarding some sort of secret, which is the intrigue of the entire DLC, covering closely kept secrets, then maybe we'd better. Until next time, everyone.